Namaste, and welcome to our continuing journey through the Ashtavakra Gita. Today we continue this profound journey with the continuation of chapter 18, where Ashtavakra unleashes a hundred verses of pure non-duality. I hope you enjoy it. Chapter 18, Part 6, Peace Ashtavakra said, When one realizes he is neither the actor nor the one who watches, the mind storm is stilled. The actions of the sage, free of pretense and motive, shine like a clear light. Not so those of the deluded seeker, who affects a peaceful demeanor while remaining firmly attached. Unbounded, unfettered, untethered from the projections of the mind, the wise are free to play and enjoy, or retire to mountain caves. Whether honoring a spiritual scholar, a god or holy shrine, whether seeing a desirable woman, a king or a beloved friend, the heart of the sage is unmoved. Though his servants, sons, wives, daughters, grandchildren and all his relatives ridicule and despise him, the yogi is undismayed. Though pleased, he is not pleasured. Though pained, he does not suffer. This wonderful state is understood only by those like him. The belief in duty creates a relative world for its performance. The wise one knows himself to be formless, timeless, all-pervasive, immaculate, and thus transcends duty and world. Even doing nothing, the dull one is anxious and distracted. Even amidst great action, the wise one remains still. Even in practical life, the wise one remains happy. Happy to sit, happy to sleep, happy to move about, happy to speak, happy to eat. Because he knows self, the wise one is not disrupted by practical life. He is deep and still like a vast lake. He is not like ordinary people. His sorrows have vanished. Wow, what a beautiful and profound verses on non-duality by Ashtavakra. I hope you're able to hear these words again and to find the underlying meaning that lie within these simple yet profound verses. Leave me a comment and let me know how you felt. Do share this with someone who you feel will benefit from joining this journey. I look forward to seeing you on our continuing journey through the Ashtavakra Gita. Until next time, this is Akshananda signing off from the Himalayas with much love and light. Namaste.